everybody, so today we're at Chatham Literature Festival. I'm super excited, gonna go to the Waterstones, got a talk with Alison Weir and Sarah Grissard, so very excited, so let's go. you enjoyed experiencing Chatham Literature Festival with me now on to the Hall of Books so I got six books first one I got from the big three-story waterstones that they have in Chatham which is absolutely fantastic and if you're ever there I highly recommend that you go to that waterstones because it's brilliant and there's so many books so first up I got The Temptation of Elizabeth Tudor by Elizabeth Norton I've read a couple of Elizabeth Norton's books before and really enjoyed them this book is about Elizabeth Elizabeth Tudor um, when her brother is King Edward VI and she is living with her stepmother Catherine Parr and her new husband Thomas Seymour and it's about the relationship between Elizabeth and Thomas Seymour which I'm really interested to read um, a bit more about so yes really excited for this one it's been sat on my wish list for so long and I saw it and I was just like just treat yourself just get it and then at Chapman Literature Festival itself it was a little bit different this year because usually there's tents by the town hall is that the Imperial Imperial Gardens, I'm not sure, um, but there wasn't, there was just Montpellier, I think it's Montpellier, there was a lot of tents, so there's loads of food tents and of course the big book tent etc etc and a lot less ne next to the town hall, so I, because my talk was at the town hall and there is a bookshop there, I went over to the other one because sometimes you'll find that signed books are on one site but they're not on the other so you have to check them both out and over there there was lots of food so we had lunch and drinks etc etc and it was a, just a lovely time it's such a fantastic experience over there and I did pick up two signed books so the first one that I got was The Greedy Queen Eating with Victoria by Annie Gray I never heard of this book um, but I saw it and I thought this is so pretty I thought it would make a fantastic present for someone. Me and Queen Victoria don't really see eye to eye in the fact that I don't read that much about the Victorian age, it's not an age which I'm really interested in and I really want that to change so I thought I'd try and get some books which would interest me. Um, this is a non-fiction work, it's about 
Queen Victoria and her relationship with food and I thought that would be quite interesting so got my hands on a signed copy of this. I also got my hands on a signed copy of this one. This is The Husband Hunters, Social Climbing in London and New York by Anne de Corsi. I own a couple of books by Anne de Corsi, never read any though, whoopsie daisy. However, um, I have heard great things about her work so I was excited to see this and I was just like, oh yes please, this sounds right up my street. I love a bit of social history so really excited to get to this one too. And then the talk. I only went to one talk this year because of course I was in Portugal on holiday so I unfortunately didn't get to do it any other days but I really enjoyed the talk. So talks on queenship um, through society and through the eras. And it was with Alison Weir, who of course is a very famous historian and her friend, Sarah Gracewood, who again is another famous historian. And how it worked was they each came on, Alison came on first and she talked about her queens that she featured in her book. And then Sarah came on and did the same thing. Then they had a discussion between themselves which I found really interesting and to be honest I could have just had that I could have just had them having a chat and I thought it was brilliant and then of course there was questions at the end I really enjoyed the talk I thought it's fantastic and as I said I could just listen to them for hours they could just keep going just keep going on and on it's fantastic and of course because I wanted them to continue I had to get the books so this is Alison Weir's this is Queens of the Conquest England's Medieval Queens it is 1066 to 1167 it is a lovely, big, thick hardback, which I'm really excited for because I know that I like Alison Weir's writing style, so really looking forward to seeing the women that she features in this. And I'm also super excited for this one. This is Sarah Griswoods. This is Game of Queens, The Women Who Made 16th Century Europe. I've read, again, a couple of Sarah Griswoods, um, one on Elizabeth and Leicester. There was another one on Beatrix Potter that I read. And again, I really enjoy her writing style. And I'm really interested about this one because, as you know, I read a lot of British history. So it's good for me to expand my knowledge and read a little bit further afield. And then finally, also from that Waterstones, because... As I said, sometimes there are different books in different tents. I picked up this one. This is Royal Renegades, The Children of Charles I and the English Civil Wars by Linda Porter. Again, I have some books by Linda Porter. I haven't read the but her great things. This book actually in the three story Waterstones I picked up and I was um and ahhing whether to get it. I'm so glad I didn't pick it up because now I have a signed copy. So that is all the books that I picked up from Cheltenham Literature Festival. I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. Um, I loved it, I had a fantastic day. I always do each year and I just, yeah, I love the talks and it just gets me really enthused about books and history and just, it's lovely, it's such a, a warm atmosphere and if you haven't been to a book festival, try and look for one near you because they're just fantastic experiences. In the description bar below, of course, these books will be linked if you wanna get your hands on any of them. And if there's any book in particular that you want me to review quicker than the others, let me know in the comment section. So that's it for the video, take care for now and I shall see you soon for the next one. Bye.